Hello friends, as I asked you earlier in the day to stay long on gold till the time it trades above 1735 and look what it is achieved, it is achieved close to 1749 levels similarly. US 30, 32, 220, you can watch out those levels and 12600 on US 100. Fairly respecting those levels. Now, what is going to happen today with the US cash session? Which position to take in order to make profit, whether to go long or to go short? We will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. First, we we'll look into gold, followed with US 100 and in the end, Dow Jones. Do listen to it till the end. Do watch it carefully and do note down the levels next update on these will be up before the asia session tomorrow so let's start with gold first now this is the early charts for gold you can clearly see it is respecting this channel out there support there very important support now at 1735 i had told you earlier in the day only go short once you see it trading below 1735 till the time it trades above 1735 probably it can try to rise again the resistance zone at 1745 is very strong and then 1750 levels will come into picture beyond that 1760 is the next target below 1735 you can expect 1727 1724 and below that it may crash heavily now this is on the early charge directional movement is bearish it is bullish right now rather but it is trying to converge and cross over the stochastic is looking downwards here and if you look at the MACD this is converging and crossing over for a sell entry it is almost crossed over for a sell entry be watchful RSI is looking downwards similarly if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts too it is formed this channel out there trying to trade in this taking the support there yes if you see it trading below 1735 you can go short there expect it to drop further the next support at 1730 1727 zone and below that it is going to crash heavily on the downside the directional movement is so far bullish the stochastic is now looking downwards and see the slope out there so it is looking forward to a vertical fall possibly if it continues to trade similarly and if you look at the magnet this is trying to converge and cross over for a sell rsi was overbought look at the 3 hour chart similar is the formation but see it is honoring these levels and hence a reversal can be expected once it reverses we can again be watchful of 1745 1750 levels so yes again with the stop loss at 1735 probably that is the time one can stay long but be watchful of 1745 rather directional movement is still bullish the stock i stick is looking downwards the MACD is trying to converge the rsi is looking downwards similarly look at the 4 hour charts now look at the 4 hour charts it has formed a double bottom out there and once it forms a double bottom probably it looks over to another reversal and the reversal might take it till towards 1747-1750 levels so be watchful as I said till the time it trades about 1735 probably we can stay long but be watchful of 1735 and on the upside 1745 levels should give it a little resistance the directional movement is bullish stock is stick is bullish it is trying to converge rsi trading flat and if you look at the daily charts now see on the daily charts the candle is still green and if you connect the dots here the highs there at around 1750 levels and 1755 levels the lows are very well connected to and it is almost achieved so be watchful be watchful of 1735 if it breaks below yes you can go short till the time it trades above 1735 i will expect it to reverse again i will expect it to achieve 1750 and in fact it can achieve higher till towards 1755 levels so see this is right now it has got the resistance precisely at this zone and hence this zone is very very important for gold directional movement if you look at it is slightly bearish trying to converge and cross over for a bullish move stochastic is again converging towards a bullish move the MACD has crossed over it is divergent and it is bullish RSI is again looking upwards considering this as I said till the time it trades above 1738 now you can stay long and above 1738 we can expect it to hit 1745 1750 levels and beyond 1750 in fact we will look forward to 1755 and 60 levels on the downside between 1735 and 38 do not trade between these three dollars below 1735 you can go short there and expect it to drop further so take your positions accordingly and please trade with a stop loss please trade with a strict stop loss now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 see tech 100 on the early charts trying to trade in this channel fairly achieving lower lows lower highs be watchful of 12560 if you see it trading about 12560 go long and then 12600 levels will come into picture and then on the downside if you see it trading below 
12460 you can go short there so in between 12460 rather i will say 12440 and 12560 uh, do not trade in between these 120 points directional movement is bullish the stock is stick is looking upwards the rsi is comfortable and the macd has crossed over for a sell it is trading in a bearish zone on the hourly chart be watchful of that look at the two hour charts on the two hour chart it is given lower highs hence be watchful of 12560 Only long entry is above twelve five sixty with the stop loss at twelve five sixty. You can stay short for twelve five four fifty four forty zone and the next support zone will be somewhere here at around twelve four forty. So be watchful of this and below that yes you can expect it to drop for twelve three eighty and twelve three fifty levels. If you look at the direction movement is bullish. Stock I S T is again trying to bounce back. The M A C D is converging for a crossover. R S I is comfortable. Similarly, if you look at the Three hour charts. On the three hour charts, you will observe that mm, possibly see this is giving lower highs and lower lows. Trying to trade in this channel, the support there at twelve four forty, twelve four twenty should be strong. It may try to attempt and achieve this. Only long entry I will recommend is about twelve five sixty. In between this zone, do not trade till the time it trades below twelve five sixty. Possibly one can stay short for twelve. Uh, Four fifty, four forty, four twenty zone, and if it breaks below, we can expect twelve three eighty and twelve three fifty levels. The directional movement is bullish. The stock I think is looking downwards. The MACD is trying to converge crossover for a sell. RSI is sloping downwards. Similarly, if you look at the four hour charts, on the four hour charts, interestingly, it is trying to give you drop out there and. Possibly till the time it trades about twelve below twelve five five sixty, you can stay short. And this time it is going to give you a bigger red candle. Probably taking it till towards twelve four forty, twelve four hundred. In fact, twelve three fifty levels and twelve three hundred cannot be denied. See the sharper the rise, the sharper the drop. It can come back to the zone between twelve two hundred, three hundred, which is a stronger support zone. If not today, then by tomorrow it may try to achieve this. Also look at this. What US hundred has done? It has achieved a double top there. Trying to retrace back, so it is a good entry to go short. If you are trying to take a positional short entry, twelve seven hundred, keep the stop loss and stay short. Directional movement is bullish. Stock I think is looking downwards. The MACD is willing to converge and cross over. RSI is looking downwards. And if you look at the daily charts, now see on the daily charts, double top is done. That is very clear. now it is trying to replicate see, see the candle lower highs so possibly lower highs it means it can try to attempt and achieve 12600 620 in fact 640 zone and from there it can again try to retrace and this time the drop could be sharper enough for it to take till towards 12300 12400 in fact below levels is also possible on the downside 12200 levels are a very good support so be watchful on the daily charts 12100 to 200 zone this is going to be the next support zone for us 100 so um, i will look forward to till the time it trades below this zone at 12670 i look forward for it to drop again and try to give you a symmetry from here so what it is trying to do it is trying to trade in this channel and hence now it is form the double top now it may try to achieve this zone at 12000 11950 and below that if it drops we can see a good crash but at the same time one must not forget that if it trades about 12600 rather 12560 itself today you can go long at 12560 expect it to hit 12600 620 640 and 660 levels and yes if it goes past 12700 further you can stay long and it is going to act extremely bullish today the directional movement is bullish the stock i think is looking upwards the macd is wide divergent and bullish the rsi is also looking slightly downward considering this you can go long at only 12560 levels till the time it trades below 12560 you can stay short and the next target is 12440 12420 and below that we can expect 12318 12350 levels 12350 the next support 12300 is the major support and below that we can see 12200 very strong support out there below that it is going to crash again be watchful in between be careful till 12400 420 450 440 zone in between this zone 400 to 440 450 you have to be cautious if and only if it drops and trades below 12380 you can stay short for further downward move else it can swing again be watchful of the 12560 zone again on the upside yes it can try to attempt and achieve 12600 620 640 Till 660, I will not consider that as a bullish move, and only if it breaks past 12660, you can stay long. However, 
enjoy the things you can stay you can go long at 12 six six five sixty levels expect it to achieve 12 600 620 640 in fact 12 660 in between any of these levels it can reverse and hence you have to keep your stop loss at cost and keep trailing the stop loss so that in case of a reversal you should close your trades in profit on the downside till the time it trades below 12 560 one can remain short and one can expect it to achieve 12 i will say 12.480 first and 12.440 next target level so possibly it can try to drop till towards 12.440 in fact on the downside it can try to breach 12.380 also below that it is going to crash heavily so be watchful trade with caution trade with a stop loss trade with a strict stop loss now let's have a look at Dow Jones this is US 30 on the hourly charts trading sideways in between 32 200 and 32 100 levels rather 32 200 and 32 120 levels so yes be watchful in between 32 100 200 very clear above any break above and below you can go you can stay short or long accordingly directional movement bullish stock has to get that bottom the MACD has just crossed over it is white divergent and bearish RSI is trading flat and if you look at the two hour charts similarly on the two hour charts see observation number one it has formed a top out there it is looking for see previous candle indicated indecisiveness now it is trying to drop this time it may try to achieve 12 30 to 100 and if it breaks below 30 to 100 it is going to fall continuously on the downside and may achieve 32050 below that we will look forward to 31950 31900 zone directional movement is bullish so it might look forward to a drop from here that is my observation probably we can look forward to 32050 and in fact below levels are possible a two hour stochastic is entering into oversold levels. MACD is on the verge of a convergence there for a crossover for a sell off. RSI is sloping moderately downwards there. Similarly, if you look at the three hour charts, again on the three hour charts, lower highs, lower lows, getting the support at 32100. Below 32100, you can stay short for 32050, 32000, and below that it is going to crash for 31950 and 900. Below that it is going to crash further. Directional movement is bullish, stochastic is looking downwards, the MACD is trying to converge, RSI is sloping downwards. Similarly, if you look at the 4R chart, similar is the observation on the 4R charts. Directional movement is still bullish, stochastic is looking downwards, the MACD is in green trying to converge and RSI is trading flat. And if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts, see lower highs, 200 days average giving it a resistance here at 32,220. Be watchful of that. If you see it trading above 32,220, go long else it may come back to 32100 first support below that yes you can stay short and we can expect it to drop till towards 31900 levels probably but there are mid pit stops in between towards 32050 32000 31950 and 31900 below 31900 it is going to crash strongly on the downside directional movement bearish bullish stochastic reversing again towards a bullish move macd is wide parallel divergent and bullish rsi trading flat considering this go long only about 30 to 220 levels and above this you can look forward to 32 300 32 400 in fact 32 500 levels on the downside if it trades below 32 100 go short for 32 0, 5, 0. 32 uh, you can expect 32 0, 5, 0, 32 000, 31 950 31 900 below that it is going to crash for 31 840 and 31 800 31 800 very strong support 31 700 the next strong support take your positions accordingly do not trade between 32 100 and 32 220 levels watch out for till 32000 levels and largely in between 32000 to 32 300 is this is the 300 period zone where it can swing a bit so be cautious trade with caution in between these levels trade accordingly trade profitably have a great profitable trading day ahead you can join my mentorship batch or you can join my vip singles group reach out to me for details on both the next mentorship batch is starting on 8th of august 15 days 90 minutes daily and a lifetime support you get so join this batch definitely you will cherish the investment forever reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you